what's going on youtube welcome back to a new video and today's video is gonna be fairly quick um today i'm gonna show you guys how you can get free textures and how to use them for your roblox graphics this is pretty simple um i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know about this but some of you guys don't so this is a quick little video we got a lot more videos coming soon tutorials challenges anything you can think of so we still got a lot more stuff planned for this channel as well as our store so for gfx comment in general all right so the website i'm going to go to is called cc0textures.com all right they actually renamed it into ambientcg.com but as you can see right here ambientcg detailed and seamless materials are available in up to 8k uh limitless freedom you're gonna hit explore all assets so as you can see uh there are a ton of assets here materials you could use we're just going to choose one i'm gonna go for this little wood texture and right here you can select a resolution so i'm gonna go for the 4k one um you can see jpeg and png the pngs are a bigger files so i assume that means so i assume it's higher quality but i'm just gonna go for the 4k jpeg right here so i'm just gonna hit click you want to make sure you have winrar installed if you don't have winrar just look up winrar and just hit download so you want to click now i'm gonna hit inside blender and i'm gonna show you guys how to use these textures all right so here we are the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit shift a mesh and i'm gonna add a plane i'm gonna hit s on my keyboard and we're just going to scale this plane up like that i'm gonna click over here to give it a second as you can see all right uh, i'm gonna add an extra eye so i'm gonna go right here add an extra eye boom there we go lower the strength and turn this off for now Okay, let's go ahead and add our texture. So click on your plane and go into the shading tab and hit new. You're going to want to go up to edit, go to preferences right here, go to add ons and make sure you have Wrangler enabled right here. All right. So you can click on the principal BSDF. You want to hit control, you want to hit control, shift and T on your keyboard. Click on the first texture, hold shift, click on the last one. And you want to hit principal texture setup. Now, if you go back to layout, you can see your texture is automatically set up right here. You go back to shading and uh, let's find our little scene right here. All right. So, all right. right here, you can adjust the specular settings like that. Um, normal, increase the strength. And boom, we got our texture. Um, I use Eevee to, to render. You could use Cycles if you want. But that's basically it. Quick little video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.